Good evening, everyone. Confusion and uncertainty. That was the mood of investors after newly released minutes from the Federal Reserve revealed anxiety among policymakers on inflation targets, concerns about weakness in the global economy impacting the U.S., and about how to communicate an inevitable interest rate hike without rattling the markets. So you add it all up, and stocks barely budged today. The Dow slipped two points, the Nasdaq was down 26, and the S&P lost three points. Steve Leisman has more on those Fed minutes. Within minutes of the release of the minutes of the Fed's October meeting, stocks shot higher. Minutes later, they shot lower. That kind of volatility is perhaps emblematic over increasing confusion over the outlook for interest rates, the economy, and Fed policy, showing that the central bank has much work to do to figure out how to talk with markets about the path ahead. According to the minutes, the Fed discussed the path of future rate hikes and how to communicate those rate hikes to markets. But it also discussed inflation being too low and concerned that it won't hit its 2 percent inflation target, quote, for quite some time. And it worried about global economic weakness, factors that would lead markets to put off the timing of rate hikes. And I think they're struggling with uh, the gap between what the market expects and what they expect, but also with the fact that no one knows between now and then. And that's uh, something that they won't be able to address because clearly they're saying it depends on the data. And the more they say that, the more the market expects different things. That gap is between where the market believes interest rates will be in the coming years and where the Fed thinks they'll be. The market continues to believe in lower rates than the central bankers, a gap that puzzles market participants as well as Fed officials. I think it's going to be very hard for the Fed to raise interest rates, much as they would like to find a reason and the ability to do so. I think rates are going to stay in the same very, very low levels, I would say for at least through the balance of 15, and I don't see a way out of their predicament where they can actually start to raise short rates. Most economists disagree with Patel and see a rate hike in the summer of next year. But judged by these minutes, you'd be forgiven for being confused over the outlook for interest rates and central bank policy. The experts are only sure rates will be low, but they can't say how low or for how long. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Steve Leisman.